hi guys welcome to my youtube channel and welcome back if you're already subscribed here if you're new here go ahead and subscribe to my channel you'll see a lot of makeup videos um i want to start introducing just random stuff i kind of want to broaden everything i don't want to keep it down to just makeup and beauty so i am actually working on getting people to be involved in my videos more instead of it just being all one thing which is beauty um, my name's Elena I love makeup I have been obsessed with it since I was 13 12 13 and I got grounded grounded when I put my first makeup product on my face which was seventh grade in middle school my stepsisters told on me and Honestly, it was just mascara and I thought it was slick. I would wear my sunglasses and shades to hide it and Nope, that didn't work. Um, so I got caught and I got grounded for Makeup, you know, I didn't let that stop me. I had an aunt that I would go to over the summers and visit my cousins and I would buy makeup during the summer and I would wear all the pretty eyeshadows so um, yeah, this is my makeup journey and uh, to be honest, there's days when I am down and I don't sound very enthusiastic and very fun and I will probably be real and show you those parts of me and you'll be able to tell my videos and I want to say sorry ahead of time for maybe my monotone voice that I tend to have a lot but anyways, I hope you guys enjoy my journey and I hope you guys um, just have fun with whatever look you're going for that you can receive tips for me and that you enjoy just watching this maybe that it just makes you relax after a stressful day of work so yeah without further ado let's get started on how i created this beautiful makeup look which was inspired by jay mitchell i'm going to start with my morphe 39l hit the lights palette Going with the shade my type my type so it's gonna be this pretty neutral beige shade and I'm gonna apply it all over my lids, but before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and start with eyeshadow primers. This eyeshadow primer I got through BoxyCharm, and honestly, guys, I would totally recommend it. Um, you get like four to five products for only like 20, 25 bucks a month, which is totally worth it, because sometimes at Ulta you spend like that amount for only two. This is what it looks like. It's called Thank Me Later and Thank Me Later that I recommended this to you. It's very important to prime your eyelids because if you do not, you're going to get some creasing in your eyeshadow. After I do that, I'm going to go ahead and start with my eyebrows. I'm going to do them off camera. Um, if you guys want to see video on this, go ahead and let me know. Okay, so I went in and uh, applied my foundation. I do use It Cosmetics, the CC cream. I love it. It has SPF, which is really important to protect your face because it's going to prevent aging. Um, not prevent aging, but it's, it's going to slow down your, the aging process of your skin. Okay, so you want to take this shade, my type, and I'm going to just pack it on my eyelid. into the crease area as well and onto your eyelid and the same on this side and once I look at it and I feel like it's even I'm going to go ahead and just blend everything out Makeup and makeup sesh. Makeup <laughs> and makeup sesh. So these brown, um, kind of like a terracotta shade and this dark chocolate brown shade. I'm going to blend them into this crease. It's very light. Next, I'm gonna go in with the shade Beam, which is this shade right here. And I'm going to apply it towards the inner corner of my eyelid. Lightly tap. I don't want it to look too dramatic, but natural still. Because I don't want it to overpower the liner. 
but I just want to add some like shimmer in there. This brush, and I'm going to blend. So I went ahead and just did this left eye, um, just to show you what it looks like. And I'm gonna go ahead and replicate it on this side. So first what I did is I'm gonna start off with my white liner by Fiora Beauty. And it looks like this, and it also comes with like a little um, liner brush, which honestly sucks, it sucks. Um, if you are, if you're watching this, this brush really sucks, sorry. White gel liner. And I'm just going to, Start by lining because this was kind of hard. It wasn't as easy as I thought, but here we go. Then I go back and I'm going to thicken what I did. Why I got it that thick? I like it. I felt like a thin, super thin line. It's cute to a thin line, but I, I also need to even out this eye. <laughs> I will go ahead and thicken this eye out because I already showed you how I created that. And I'll be right back. After that, I'm going ahead and applying um, the Out Late shade. And it's this neon green shade right here. Obviously, it's on my eyelids. Um, but it's called Out Late. And I'm just packing it on my angled brush. And I am just packing it on to the white liner. Because your girl did not have this color in a liner. So this is how we're going to do it. And so I'm just packing it on to the white liner like so. And I'm going to go and apply on my lid like I apply my eyeliner. But I want to keep it very subtle, so I'm just going to drag it. I'm not going to over apply, I'm just going to drag whatever. Perfect. And then again, go in with that shade and just pack the lashes I'm gonna go with are these little babies right here I want something dramatic because it's so thick and I feel like my lashes are like hiding with that it looks like I have like no lashes so I'm gonna go ahead and pop these babies on look at how pretty like these lashes are everything guys okay so now i'm gonna show you my face routine um like bronzing and all that i'm gonna keep up very subtle so what i'm gonna be using is the ace beauté bronzed in paradise palette it looks like this this is also a boxy charm i look how pretty these are so i'm gonna go in with this shade right here this shade right here on this big forehead of mine I'm going to use my beautiful tre trace I think it's called Tristique and I love it because it shows you like a little bit of what the shade is going to look like. So this is really subtle. I love this if you're into very natural um, highlight um, and if your skin is very dry, this is like the perfect highlighter. So I'm just going to apply a little bit here and then I like to add it like up here. And then I'm going to just take a finger. NYX lip pencil. It's in the shade nude, nude, nude beige. And I'm going to go ahead and apply. And then I'm going to go in with my Kylie lip matte lip in Dulce K. Okay. 
Okay, and then I'm going to go in with Exposed. And then I'm gonna take my finger and I'm just going to blend. Ooh, look at that. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply my Milani lip gloss in the shade Champagne. And I'm just gonna take that same finger and how pretty that is very neutral and subtle and it complements the eyes last but not least we always want to set our makeup so that it lasts for the day you know because we all have somewhere to go during this quarantine so I'm actually going to go to the store today and shop and this one I don't know why I'm talking while I'm spraying that this is the Jeffree Star setting spray and it is so cute it's pink and it smells like strawberry this is the final look I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you enjoyed it go ahead and comment down below give your girls some feedback positive feedback so I can't wait to see you guys next time bye love you